Hello everyone, so welcome to Teacher Ines Tutorials and Stories. So this is channel, I will be discussing a lot of things on how to use the different applications such as Microsoft Office, Google Apps, and a lot of things that will be helpful as an educator, as a student, and as a user of those applications that I will be sharing. Please stay tuned to my channel and do not forget to click the subscription button and share it with your friends. Happy watching! Hello everyone! So welcome back to Teacher Ines Tutorials and Stories. Now today I will be discussing about Microsoft Word and briefly I will discuss its versions, okay? So you can see that there are different versions and then I will just zero in on the current versions that others are still using now to start with what is a microsoft word so a microsoft word this is an application a word processing application that enables you to write a document document in the form of uh, a reports a bibliography an autobiography anything a research a research a resume an invitation, a brochure, flyers, and a lot of things. Okay, now, so I will tell you about the parts of Microsoft Word and its functions and how to launch Microsoft Word in different ways, how to create, save, and open a document using also the shortcut keys and how to use smart art, smart art command button. Okay, so actually this is uh, the reason behind why I used smart art command button is because that is my topic for my students. Okay, now let's begin. So Microsoft Word versions. So if you are using the older version, which is 2010, it's okay. Okay, right, let's jump. It's okay. It's it still uh, has the the ribbon itself, okay, the tab, and then the group function groups. But the difference is the difference is it has uh, still the the button of the Microsoft, and when you click that, so that is uh, another way in opening. A document and saving and printing okay compared to the 2013 version so the Microsoft command button was changed to a file button okay so they serve as this button is for opening saving printing and closing also of the word document now the good thing about this 2013 is that you can see, okay, you can collaborate, all right? You can do a collaboration. You can share it with your group mates, okay, group members, and if you are doing a report, okay, if you want to have an editing. Now, next is the 2016. The 2016, so it changes, uh, it adds an artificial intelligence wherein you can ask tell me what you want to do you can also share it now when you are sharing it so you can see out there right who is the one that is doing an editing but provided it is already in cloud so everything was was saved into cloud based okay next is the 2019 all right, so the 2019, the tell me disappeared already. It has a search button. Still, it has the share. So now, if earlier I've mentioned is that you can see the, the person that you have shared. So this one is a little bit uh, advanced. Okay, so but there is no more difference between 2000. Uh, 16 okay by the way so if you notice the extension now is that docs okay so that docs compared to the earlier version which is that doc okay that docs for 2000 uh, 2016 right sorry 
So this is 2016, still the same document. And then 2019, it becomes that docs already. Now, I am using 365, Microsoft version 365. And later on, I will be showing you what is the difference between 2019 and 2016. Okay, so I have mentioned already that I will be teaching you how to use smart art. Now, what is a smart art and why do people are using this one and why this command button is very helpful? Now, definitely, it is a visual representation of your information and ideas. So, you can organize your ideas in the form of a Venn diagram, in the form of a chart or process and list. Okay, so it's also a way of a chart, but there is also a button for chart. Okay, so now this is how you, this is the smart art graphic dialog box. So you have an option if you want to use a list, a process, a cycle, a hierarchy, a relationship, relationship, a matrix, pyramid, picture, and other things that can be seen under office.com. Now, so there are different ways how to launch Microsoft Word. Okay, so the first one, if you saw it already, in the taskbar, the button, simply click the button. Okay, or use the search box. Okay, and then type the name of the, type of the, name of the program, which is Word itself. Okay, Word, and then... Just wait for a while and then the name of the program appears already and select that. Okay, so this is the word application. Or click the Windows button and then look for it under or simply press W so that you can see the word application. Alright, so those are the steps in, in launching Microsoft Word. As you can see, so the version that I am using is Microsoft Word 365. So, be patient, okay, because my computer is still in the process of processing, okay, the application. So, it takes a while, all right? So, let's wait for a moment. Now, so what is the difference of between 365 and then 2016 and 2019? Now, as I mentioned earlier, I have... I have, I have mentioned that it offers an artificial intelligence so that you can automatically look for or insert an object. Okay. Now, by the way, this is the backstage view where you can see the updates for the new one. And if you want to search for the documents that you did, okay, you can also check a document that was shared with you all right provided that you are signed in now we will start with new and then we can use a blank document or we can have the we can use business cards flyers letters education resume cover letters and other things now these are examples of templates and templates, you can modify it. You can edit it according to your preference. You can also make a certificate out of the Microsoft Word and even a calendar. All right? So, or a brochure. Okay. Now, let's start with a blank document. Okay. Now, by the way, uh, before I click the blank document, you can also add uh, some 3D model. Okay, when you type 3D model and then when you press enter, so you can click 3D model and then you can click the create button. Okay. So while it takes a, uh, a couple of seconds, okay, so the good thing about inserting this if you are a science teacher, so or anything related, okay, if, if you prefer adding uh, a 3D, okay, images in your document. So you can also add a 3D style. So once it was added, okay, so click the image and then there is a button here 
that's uh, sort of 360 degrees and then you can rotate it according to your preference see that okay okay that's it now in addition to that some of the good thing about this application is that you can also uh, if you are a math teacher you can click insert and then add some equation okay so it all right let's say area of a circle and then when you click that so you are asked about other things related to math okay so these are examples of functions equations that you can use um, in your math uh, exercises okay now let's start okay let's move on so now I will briefly discuss the parts of the Microsoft Word. Let's start with the title bar. Now, in the title bar, you can see the name of the document. Definitely, I haven't saved it. That's why you can see document 3. And then the name of the program. Now, in line with that, so on the left side, there is the Quick Access Toolbar. Now, the Quick Access Toolbar, toolbar from the Word itself, these are the usual quick usual command buttons that you can use example is the save button the undo the redo the new and then the open now these two were added already by default there are only three okay the save undo and redo now click the arrow down you can you can uncheck that so that the the other buttons or button was removed okay or if you want to add so simply let's say i want to have the print preview simply click that next on the right side aside beside the sign in and the ribbon display so you have the command buttons such as minimize restore and close button now the longer bar here is called a ribbon and then the ribbon the ribbon shows the tab and then the different commands now every time you click the tab so a corresponding ribbon also appear because the commands are grouped together according to its purpose example for clipboard for font for paragraph for styles editing and editor next you can see the ruler here on top and on the left side now this is helpful if you are working with objects so that you can align it properly now the white space here is a working area so the one that you can see the mouse arrow is an eye beam and then the one that is a blinking is a cursor a cursor is a signal that that is the location where you can start inserting your text or images or other objects next at the bottom we have here the page number the number of words and the language and this is the status bar in line with that we have the different uh, uh, modes or views such as the read mode we have the print layout web layout and beside that we also have the zoom zoom slider so you can scale it smaller or you can have it bigger now we also have the scroll bar so the scroll bar so it is a vertical scroll bar that lets you see what's on the upper and then lower part of your document so basically this is the interface of the microsoft 365 but in the other version still the same okay if you are using 2016 so the tell me appears if you are using 2019 so 365 and 2019 uh works the same okay now let's use the smart art the one that i have mentioned earlier because that is also helpful when we are doing a report okay so insert when you when you hover the mouse on the smart art so you can see insert is a smart art graphic to visually communicate information smart art graphics range range from graphical lists and process diagrams to more complex graphics such as venn diagrams and organization charts let's say for example when i click smart art i would like to make a cycle all right so let's say this one and the name of that 
option is black cycle and then click OK. Now, once you click OK, so you are ready now to insert the text. So the different ways of how to insert text, simply click the box, okay, or click the arrow on the uh, pointing to the left, okay, and then provide. Let's say I want this one to be a human cycle. So I will start with, let's say I'll start with a fetus and then a baby and then after that is after that is uh, a toddler next is a teenager next is a young adult and then if we want to add more simply press enter okay and then that is an adult let's say for example accidentally you press okay so an extra box has appeared now press the box space okay for you to delete the other excess boxes all right or go to smart art design and then click add shape if you want to add all right if you want to remove it so again press the box space okay if you want to change the colors of the boxes simply change colors all right, so that is how you add some formatting styles. Next, for the layout, so again, it's your option if you want to change the layout. This one, for example, okay? So basically, that is how to use the smart art. Now, if you want to move it, okay, in, your, in the working area, you click the layout options and then you select. Okay, so that is wrap text so that you can move it sideward, uh, towards the right, downward. And if you want to add a title for that, simply click insert tab and look for the word art button and then add a title. Let's say this is a human cycle. Okay, and then that's it. Okay, so this is now an example of a smart art. Okay, what if, for example, you are also working with another one? Okay, let's say a pyramid insert, and then I will use a food pyramid for that, and then this one. Okay, so again, add the text, simply click on where the word text is, or click this one, and then add the corresponding uh line okay by simply pressing the enter key you are adding layer on that okay so definitely this is not a, a life a human cycle the, the pyramid itself the, the one that i'm showing this is only an example okay so if you want to delete it simply okay so okay and do let's have it undo and this one so again this is the product of smart art command button so i will end up here thank you for listening bye have a great day